Hey guys, I managed to uh, score another cheap controller off of Amazon actually. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, you can get this controller for $29 shipped and uh, show up at your door the next day, which is totally blows me away considering most of the time when I got controllers I'd have to order through uh, AliExpress, it took months to get here. So this is actually a pretty good deal. Showed up a little bit dented up, but that's you know that's that's the norm you can always take the plates off and straighten it out but right off the bat for $29 look at the size of the thing uh, the phase wires are a little bit thin it's not a big deal they're not gonna melt uh, it's got everything you need here it's got the the hulls it's got a three-speed switch uh, I'm pretty sure this is your uh, e-brake uh, you know what I mean it's got all the all the plugs are there nothing's been uh, nothing's chimped out uh, one thing I did notice is they put the, on the screws, they put uh, rubber washers, which is kind of cool, because you can reuse those. Uh, the the brand name is Brain Power Motor Controller. Uh, let's see, the voltage is 36 to 48 volts. Uh, power is 1,500 watts. Uh, it has adjustable angle, 120 to 60. The, this is what blows me away. For $29, you get a 50 amp uh, controller. Usually, at this price range, would be 35 to 30. So that's pretty good. And uh, it's got an e brake. It's low. And the item number is KSEKL53. Um, what I'm going to do next is we're going to open it up and check to see what the FETs are like and see what the uh, what the limit is on those. The side screws are not rubber, they're just basically nylon, they're just like insulators. So you're still going to want to put some type of uh, silicone on that if you take it apart. Uh, you still get water. Not as bad, but yeah, you'll still get it. Okay, let's crack this baby open. Decent amount of silicone grease on there. Decent bus bar. Mm, they've they put a they put a copper they uh, beefed up the um, the traces with copper. It's actually pretty flat, but uh, at least they beefed it up. Um, those caps look a little chintzy. 63 volt caps, so you'd want to change these out to 100 volts, as well as those two there. Uh, that that's the um, power supply for the board. It's pretty standard. You wouldn't want to overvolt that, so just keep that in mind. That uh, that uh, IC there will fry, or that transformer will fry, and you'll be left with a dead controller. Uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward, really. It's they don't put LEDs in these uh, in these um, controllers anymore. There's your shunt, half decent. Not, not super thick, but at least they have more than two. Uh, what else? I'm gonna check the yeah, build quality. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not state of the art. It's not as nice as some of the ones I've uh, taken apart in the past, like these. There's a lot of um, solder missing off the um, bar right here, which should be finished because that's not good for transferring heat and voltage. Um, well, let's check the FETs. Find a computer and check the FETs and see what they're rated for. Yeah, with this type of uh, controller, there's a bit of a trade off. Um, since it is a 50 amp controller, uh, the it's on a different scale when it comes to the FETs 
Uh, so the FETs can handle up to 150 amps, which is great for anybody who wants to, you know, monkey around with the, um, the shunts. And uh, they can really get a lot out of this controller. So it's good up to 150 amps. And, but the voltage, this is where it changes. Instead of having a high voltage, it has a lower voltage and a higher amp. So you get 150 amps from the FET at 68 volts. So anybody running a 60 volt system with high amps, and this is definitely the, the kind of controller you want. Uh, you won't need to switch these out, the caps, because you're not going to have any, anything higher than 60 volts. The max is 68 before the, um, the FETs start to bleed. So you definitely wouldn't try 79 or 70 or anything like that. 60 volts is respectable, um, but uh, it's definitely, it's got the amps, so it's going to have the power. It's definitely going to have 1500 watts. So uh, that's it. Not bad for $29 shipped. I'll leave a link in the description. And, um, you know, if this is your thing, if that's uh, the type of control you're looking for, it's, uh, it's the, I love the amperage on it. It's amazing amps. Anyway, later guys. Uh, there it is, back together. One thing I did uh, forget to mention was the cutoff voltage. Um, it's uh, 36 to 48 volts, and the cutoff voltage is 30 volts to 42 volts. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm going to do a couple of videos where I'm going to hook it up to my bike and do some tests on it. Later guys.